What's up, everybody? This is Master Fox Trainer bringing you another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, I forget where we left off. So let's just click. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Uh, why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make a high contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should I show my poem to first? Let's go to Sayori, because, oh, that's right, she's feeling a little down. So let's go help her out, and hopefully she's... You can cheer her up. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Fox. Yeah, you're welcome, Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well again. I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. I'm sorry. This is, this is kind of making me sad. You know, I know fuck Sayori's going through and it really, really, it really sucks. Ah, oh, damn you, Sayori. How do you be depressed and not want to be around anybody? Okay, well, let's go to Natsuki then. Meh. I guess you really haven't learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I got my hopes up in the first place. What? Did I... I didn't think this one was that bad. What did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's... It's going to sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. That's you stop short all of a sudden. Don't tell me. Huh? You're not... You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What? <laughs> what? What are you talking about, girl? No. See, what had happened was... <laughs> what had happened was, you need to keep your voice down. You know, Yuri would love this kind of... This angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean... I mean... Uh, Looks like I'm in trouble. Um, <clears throat> I somehow struck a nerve that. I, <laughs> the, <laughs> I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. Yeah, look, fair guy, you, you do you did something wrong, okay? You don't matter what you did, you still did something wrong. <clears throat> I'm so done with you. As Suki shows up on my hand, her back over to me. Take your stupid, stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Damn. Ouch. This is what I get for letting younger girls step into my business. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. Yeah, basically. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. So. Okay, so... I don't get to read anybody's poems now? Is this like the last day or something? Oh, 
wait, okay, so should I show it to Monica and then, and then leave it for Yuri for the last one? Yeah, okay, let's do that one. So I guess I'm not reading anybody's poems today, which is great, because I hate to fucking read. <clears throat> Hi, Fox. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Great. Ah ha ha ha. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. No one else liked it, so, um, you probably won't like it either, Monica. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Hmm. Your style's gotten so refined, Fox. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. Well, you know, she's kind of... <laughs> Stop that. Hmm. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple of days than she's talked in the whole year. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. <laughs> you know, <laughs> purple hair. <laughs> what can I say? Purple hair. <laughs> That's... <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day? Reading that edgy novel with her? Well, it's kind of awesome. I mean, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know? It's pretty fucking awesome. I mean, I have no idea what, it, what it's about, actually. Yeah, I do. But, you know. Alright, alright. I get you. Just be careful, okay? All right, okay, okay, all right, all right, okay, okay. All right, <laughs> damn it, I got stuck in the loop. <clears throat> I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up, so if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could really be, it could, it could be really hard for her, yeah, okay. Glasses, no, I don't have my glasses today. Well, they're, they're in the, another room and it's like too far away you know I've already started recording and I'm, you know I'm lazy anyway her books aren't a total escape from reality they're just a bandage Ooh, really a bandage mm. you say that <laughs> you're going to hurt her sorry I didn't mean that if anything she might accidentally hurt herself Ugh, don't need that anyway I'll share my poem with, uh, I get to read Monica's poem. Er, uh, I didn't get to read anybody else's poem today. This is, how long is this stupid thing? Uh, I hate these. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale, tale, an old tale tells of a lady who wanders hers. The Lady Who Knows Everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift, the sky victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twi in a twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless, but a hand catches me between the thumbs and forefinger, a hand, the hand of a beautiful lady, I look at her, and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer of all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek 
Only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, <laughs> and I pick up a ghost of wind. Ah, that seems more calm. You know, I feel like, oh, this is her. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. But it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. Hmm. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's oh. <laughs> in a way, in a way, it's almost paradoxical. Paradox. Huh. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm thinking to myself. Because if <laughs> if we all if we had all the answers. When the world start to lose its meaning and we all be feathers afloat. No, we had all the answers. We just be ladies picking up flavors and whatever. Anyway, you know, there's one thing I, I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Haha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, two-dimensional. Wait, huh? Monica, you're a robot. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not too good? It can, it can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But you, um, but if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing it becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you what your writing is, that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus. Yeah, I just started this. I'm already done with the reading. I'm already done. <laughs> Though we want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's more, it's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Alright, and the last person, the one we wrote this poem for, Purple Hair. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, purple hair? Anyway. <clears throat> Fox. Your writing has has only improved these, these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, uh, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me, but I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling, I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writings. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Oh, here comes a whole long story. Yay. Fox, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Oh, it's a sad story. Oh. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But, books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. 
or people who you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face, or deep thinkers and problem solvers who d discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. Books are her friends. Oh, oh. I like book nerds. You know, and those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that, wait, <clears throat> that's me. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Fox. <laughs> it's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what I was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. So wrong. How dare you? Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Fox. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you always treated me like, so <laughs> like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Hmm. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her hand in her head. Her head in her hands. Look at her smiling and blushing. Oh my god, it's so adorable. It's so adorable. Anyway, but this time, she's smiling at me as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me go. Let me get it for you. Okay, this one ain't that long. Okay. Oh, this is Ghost Under the Light, part two. The second coming. <clears throat> The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing in the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette grows. Closer, closer, I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for so going to. I'm sorry, I get too into this shit. Teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. This isn't this isn't about a girl eating a raccoon. So I I give you an A plus on this, Yuri. This is actually Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Yuri has a thing for me. Oh, I get it. That's the, that's what the poem's about. She wrote it for me. Oh. Do, do you dislike it? Uh, no. Of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. Also, this clearly isn't a poem that Natsuki said she wrote about. 
Meaning, I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. Aha, uh -huh, so this is the poem for me. Oh. Oh. It is adorable. See, I can't play these games still. <clears throat> I don't. I. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. <laughs> Look at her. Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than your usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope you we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead, truly, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. That poem is for me. That is my poem. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can, um, that poem is, once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to know this. You always, you always make me feel nice. I know, I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah, don't worry. I think you do, I think you do a good job. Kind of, yo, I'm, I suck at this. I suck at talking to girls. <laughs> in real life, in in online, in in games, Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica said something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on one, hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Wait, what did she say? <clears throat> she says, okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Is this three? And something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, I don't know. Stagnate, <laughs> stagnate, stagnate. Air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Siori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Ah, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. <coughs> Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went, just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being so lovey, uh, being all lovey dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my relationship with Sayori. And second of all, stop being a jealous little pink hair, okay? She's kind of been avoiding me today. Okay, so I didn't want to force it. Oh, 
Hello. <laughs> that curious expression coming from... Like, <laughs> damn it. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. Monica, what did you what 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 did you two talk about? What did she say to you? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival. No, you don't don't you dodge my questions. Don't no no no. No no no. What did she say to you? What did she say to you? I'm talking to you. What did she say to you? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival festival blah blah. Let's decide on let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them. And different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be painting and assembling all of the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri can, you can, uh, um, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Mm. Now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder when, you, when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful hair running, you know? Yeah, it's cursive and I fucking hate it. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful and I hate it. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Fox. The one who is truly useless. Uh, don't say that. It's fucking true. <laughs> In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate it. Be appreciative of that. Uh, that's. Is Monica suggesting I spend a weekend with one of my club members? Yo, Yuri. I'm sorry, Monica, but I gotta go with Yuri. I would love, like, maybe if I play this, like, I'm gonna probably do another, you know, selections. But, Monica, you're, like, after Sayori. So, Nasuki, Sayori, Monica. That's usually how. I like, I like this. Sundere. I like the sooner. I'm sorry. Play hard to get. <clears throat> How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica is going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um... If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Fox may not like to be around if you only make him be out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations with me. Hold on, I never said that. <laughs> How are we gonna be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds like you're just making excuses for Fox too. What are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, God, settle down for a moment. Shut the fuck up and let Fox pick whoever the hell he wants to hang out with. And he already picked Yuri, so let's go. Let's get out of here. 
And the thing is up to Fox to decide how he likes to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet yet now. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Fox, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. I'm picking on, I'm, like, I'm clicking on who I want to pick. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me and... Give me one second. Give me one goddamn second. <laughs> Cause I can pick Sayori. And I wanna see what happens when I pick Sayori. I mean, if it isn't going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and But Monica said Monica said that Sayori is helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean it's really that difficult. <clears throat> okay, let me let me just lower this one up. Alright, I'm picking Yuri. Oh, I'm probably gonna be the most useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping out Yuri then, Fox? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. The weekend with Sayori. That's great to hear. <laughs> I'm sorry, pervert. <clears throat> Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Fox? Mm, yeah, yeah, me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to in see how it will turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Uh, Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. Ah, Yuri anxiously, anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Fox picked me. And also, well, you know why I picked you. You should already know why I picked you. And you shouldn't... Your cupcakes are the best I've ever had. They go really well with my tea, and nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said anything, something bad. Natsuki is, isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. 
but I'm going to say this. You better. <laughs> I can't do it. You better bet my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event, okay, girlfriend? Uh, d d eh. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's something more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. There's nothing more for today. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki at the door as they chat between each other. Um... Hi, Yuri. Eh? I turn around. Uh, sorry. I realize that I don't have any way to contact you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe I slipped my mind. I'm such a dummy. God. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way. Yes. Alright then, maybe you could text later, you know, you know what I mean, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're and I exchange phone numbers. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Huh? Yeah? My house? Is that a problem? N no, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you out. Ah, uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. I can kind of think of some reasons. Maybe your house is dirty. Maybe they, you know, they just moved and they got all these boxes stacked up. Or maybe... Just maybe she has a secret dungeon. Full dungeon-ish stuff. And maybe... She doesn't want to be found out for being a dungeon tris. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, <coughs> it's not like it should matter much either way. So I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I, I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Fox. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only cho chose me because you felt bad or something, or because I like you, you know. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason the most, with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri. You're overthinking this. You wanted me <laughs> to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. Hi, Yuri. I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, really finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My insanity? Ex <laughs> yeah, my insanity. <clears throat> my anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's not, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I, I have to make something happen between us? Ooh, maybe. Or is that is it too early? Only time will tell. But guess what? Time will tell on the next episode because I'm cutting it off here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll. <laughs> I don't know if I did that. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.